Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and last year I did a video called How Statins Made Me Stupid. Now that was based on anecdotal evidence of my experience of being put on statins and losing my short-term memory. Well, in the time since, doctors, the drug companies have said, no, 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 that really isn't an issue, that doesn't happen. Which has made me rather upset, and I've decided I'm going to conduct my own little experiment with some statins that I still have to do some actual short-term memory testing while I go back on these temporarily. Sound like fun? Epic Review Guys. A lot of people are surprised that a drug like statins, which lower your cholesterol, would affect your memory, make you maybe even appear kind of stupid. But it makes sense when you consider that when your brain has to make a short-term memory, someone tells you their phone number and you've got to remember it for a little bit until you get a chance to write it down, that memory is basically made with cholesterol. If you don't have enough cholesterol, the brain is looking for some cholesterol to make that number go into temporary memory and it just does not stick. And that was my experience exactly. I would think, oh, I've got to get that thing out of the kitchen. I'm in the bedroom at the time. I would stand up. On the way to the kitchen, I would notice the kids left the um, TV converter box on. I'd go to turn it off. Just by shifting my attention to that, there was no way I would be able to remember what I originally went to the kitchen for. I'd go in there and look around. I'd go back to the bedroom and sit where I was sitting. What in the world was it? Now that happens to everyone sometimes, but it was getting to be a lifestyle thing when I was on the statins. And that's when I was on 40, I guess, milligrams a day. It was basically a mid-range dose. You can go as high as 80. So I was on just mid-level dose of statins, but I was getting to the point where I was worrying about going out driving, that I would forget what I was supposed to be doing, where I was going, things like that. So starting today, I'm going to conduct an experiment, fairly scientifically, I think. I have my statins, my leftover statins. These are good through uh, December of this year, so they should still be perfectly potent. I have on my phone some short-term memory tests. They have these for people who are worried about Alzheimer's and so forth. So they, um, you can try it now and then in a few months try it. Next year try and consider, keep track of your uh, results and see whether your short-term memory tends to be getting worse. So I'm going to use those and record everything with pen and paper. I'm going to put the uh, camera right over my shoulder while I do the testing as well so you can see. See how easy it is for you to remember the things. See what my experience with it. Now, I have not taken any statins yet, so I'm going to do my baseline today. I'm going to run through a couple of these uh, short-term memory tests, put down my information, pen and paper, so I don't forget it. Then I will start on the statins. And I found when I originally went on them that within a week, uh, and I, I didn't start with the full dose the first day. I started like 20 for a couple days and 30 and then went up to 40. But at the end of a week, I already had noticeable cognitive impairment. So I think within one week, I should be able to see an effect if there is going to be one. The first test I'm going to try out is very simple. It's from the University of Washington's website and it will flash letters on the screen for a few seconds and then you have to write down as many as you can remember. They give you a sample answer page you can print out here. I think I'm going to get my laptop and do it on that screen just because it's larger. It'll be easier for both me and you to see. And I'll put a link to this test down below this video uh, if you'd like to try it out yourself. And on Brangle.com, which I'll also link to below this video, I'll be doing a short-term memory test based on numbers, just in case it works a little differently with numbers and letters. And I will use an app on the phone called Short-Term Memory Test, which I'll link to down below. So between these three, and I'll do each two or three times, I should get a pretty good idea of how my short-term memory is now. I'll follow up again in a few days during the week. And then a week from now, I will take the exact same test. If anything, my score should go up because I've already done them once or twice, so you would think I would improve slightly. We'll see what the numbers show a week after being on statins. Here's the University of Washington letter test. Once the letters um, disappear, then I will write them down, whatever I can remember here. Okay, focus, focus, focus. Start me off for easy. Okay. Yes, more letters, please. Okay, a little harder. Okay. Is that right?
Uh-oh. I think I have more letters than they had in the test. Okay. Do I get extra credit for that? This is probably the limit of what I can do here. All right. Okay, <laughs> I will stop at that. Um, how do I find out how I did? Oh, last, I gotta do the last one? Oh, I'm gonna be embarrassed by this. Okay. All right, compare your results with the table on this page. Of course you remember the first few letters better than the rest. How did I do? Perfect, here. I feel like this is an eye chart. My eyes are just starting to go. Okay, K-X-C-E-J-O, okay. I'm still perfect up to there. Get wondering about this one here. A-V-C-Y-I. Oh, hey, nice. Five, L-B-F, Q-R-P, and I was wondering if that was an X, so no, I got a minus one there. Oh, C-T-B. Oh, I did not do well at all on this one. Mm. I guess you can't count how many you got wrong, you just have to count how many you got right. So two, four, the number goes down here at the end and that worries me a little. Six, eight, I really, I got eight of them correct? Good for me. Yeah, this one I did well, this one I just panicked. Nine. Wow, only five on that last one. And this is with my brain working. Okay, I'll leave space on this paper to do the test again in a few days and then on the back to do it um, the final day. I assume they'll mix up the letters. But okay, now on to the next test. Okay, let's try the Brangle test using numbers. Numbers will appear on the screen, 10 seconds to review them, then you have to write them down. That doesn't sound so hard. Are those my numbers? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put them here, and then I'll put them here. Hope it doesn't time me. I got that one right. Okay. It's going to go up one digit each time. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, going for the big seven, the telephone number. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Here's where I'm going to fail, I expect. Okay. I think that's right. Six, maybe. Whoo, doing well. Oh, let's not keep going. This is getting ridiculous. Six, seven, one, oh, nine. I don't remember. 8.2, I'll take that, good enough. 8.2, all right. Lastly, I'm gonna try this app. I don't know that it'll give me any opportunity to write things down here. It may all just be enter it right on the screen. So let's see what happens here. I'm also not going to practice or try to do any of the memory boosting techniques. I just wanna test. Well, what does that mean? All right, we'll try the full test. Three letter challenge. Okay. All right, I guess I better just do it here. Well. As long as they don't time me, I can write them down. Yes. Okay. VSO. Huh? Uh oh. Mwah. I realize I can't remember them until I say them to myself. Isn't that interesting? It's finished already. I'm not getting any better. <laughs> 
I did see a word there. And stink is how I'm feeling. I got the six. Six letters. And I did okay up to that point. Seven I seem to have trouble with because they just gave me such a short time. Let's see about a short test. No, oh, don't write it down yet. Okay. <laughs> now I've forgotten it. DGM maybe. Oh! Oh, failure at an early stage. Okay. <laughs> I can do seven, I think. Show me my report. Yes, please. No. <laughs> the report. Hello. Okay. That's a B. Well, all right. I didn't say I had perfect memory before the statins. I wonder if they factor in time. I wonder if my time, because I took the time to write them down. Yeah, that's an excuse for why my score isn't higher. All right. I'm going to give myself a seven on this. this set. Hey, wait, I got that one, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got an eight. I got bonus points coming to me. Well, I don't have a great memory to begin with, apparently. But all the more reason to not take the statins and have them reduce that even further. Now this is my prescription of statins. Apparently I don't need them anymore, but I was on them, so I'm not anticipating great harm, other than perhaps to my short-term memory, from going back on these. But to be clear, don't go on any medication that you shouldn't be taking. I'm going to take two of these. are a 10 milligram tablet, so I'm going to take two of them today. And we shall begin. done. I'll be back to take these tests again after being on statins for a few days. You can check back for that video. If you remember, if you do need a reminder, you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our